hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video tonight we are going to talk about tea about five teas that are amazing to use on your skin topically not only on your skin but also you know can help to flush the gut to flush the system out so tonight we're going to be brewing up some tea and these are five that i have selected are amazing i use all i love them i use them on the channel so what we're going to do tonight we are going to brew the tea and then we are also going to talk about the many benefits that you can find in these tea i need to see you also yeah so we are going to talk about the many benefits that you can actually get from using this tea in your skincare um routine now let me hear from you guys can you hear me clearly go ahead and comment if you can hear me i i'm a little away from the the microphone so i want to make sure that we are loud and clear brew and sip yes we're definitely gonna be doing that um and auntie you think tonight will be great thank you for that hello uh, marita lynn spill good evening good evening to you um who else is here we have um yes i can all right very very good thank you so much for that i just want to make sure that you all know so tonight i brought house about five um cups because i want to brew for you all to see these amazing and tea now i'm a tea person so let's get that straight i like to drink tea i um like to have tea before bed and i like to use it on my skin topically i personally enjoy using tea on my skin washing my face using them in my diy just basically just absorbing myself in tea so that is what we're gonna do tonight so let me get the water boiling before we start brewing up some tea we have five here and i'm not just gonna go ahead and share all five i'm gonna go through them one by one and while we're doing this <coughs> sorry guy i don't know my throat just start itching maybe i need to drink some tea now while we're doing this you can ask as many questions as you wish you know about um these uh, tea that we're going to be using and if you have any of these and you have tried them before i also want to hear from you who want to hear from you it is vlogmas guys and i know as usual our notification went out a little late so we are asking you to bear on let's hope that the link is going to be shared and if you're watching right now you can go ahead and you can share the link for us since the system didn't get a chance to share the link um as we would like it to so people are just seeing and look at that that's my bra strap right there can you believe it let me just push it up right here just push it right under yes yeah. so now and i have kind of act awkward when it comes on to using the camera on my phone now guys i'm a lefty okay <laughs> i'm a lefty so everything is gonna be pouring from the left pouring from the left all right so we're gonna talk about these tea and if you're new here a warm welcome to you it's vlogmas we're on here every night until december 24th at 7 p.m eastern standard time you can join us and you can choose to join in you can share your opinions and you can also go ahead and access as many questions as you wish now before we get started brewing our tea i'm gonna ask a question right now how many of you on here actually use a tea topically on the skin and if you're using one of my recipe i would like to hear from you also so tell me do you use tea on the skin topically and what tea do you actually enjoy using good night jason and we have joanna chapman i love your channel thank you for that we have lovely spice welcome pastel um yes i'm paying attention i need to know what tea is best for cold and sore throat well all of these that we have here tonight is amazing we're focusing mostly on anti-aging reducing wrinkles on the skin um lifting firming tightening hydrating and also you know getting rid of eye bags and puffy eyes and all that good jazz 
pertaining to skincare. However, all of these that we're going to be using tonight are rich in antioxidant. Oh, I, I just remember one that I should have bring out here, but I put five, so I brought five here. So we are going to start out. So we have Carleen, and Carleen like to use green tea, and we have um, Tamara, no but love to try. So you're at the right show tonight, Tamara, because we are definitely going to be brewing up and trying some tea. And who is not interested? Lady, no. Oh, you're interested. Okay, very much so. And um, I discussed um, tea that is from Wanda and Erica used green tea and uh, Merit love her green tea. And who else is here? And where are you all watching from tonight? I am personally broadcasting out of Brooklyn, New York. Where are you watching from? It would be nice to hear where you're watching from. It is Vlogmas. And I was explaining to my... Um, my Sunday chit chat viewers yesterday, how small my office is, like really, really small. So I'm trying to fit a little table in here, but it's gonna really work because it, eventually some of these teas are gonna just move off. And you can see my kettle right here and the water is brewing. Now what I'm gonna do tonight, I'm gonna brew the tea. However, not all of these you need to brew to use on the skin. When you brew them, you can make a good facial serum, you can make a good facial toner, and you can also use them to make facial moisturizer to make a facial toner all you need is the freshly brewed a tea and if you so choose you can put a little bit of a uh, vegetable glycerine or a little bit of a uh, vitamin e and that is it you shake it up you put it in your refrigerator you spritz it on the skin you're spritzing on a wide a variety of antioxidants that will help to transform the skin. To turn any of these tea in a facial serum, all you need to do is brew the tea, add some aloe vera gel and a little bit of a vegetable glycerine. You shake that up and you have an amazing anti-aging facial serum. All these, you can mix them all together or you can choose to mix one or two or you can use them individually. So, let me read some more comments. We're waiting for the chat to get a little more lively. And um, Joanna, I'm interested in your remedies. I have put green tea um, to my hair, and you're from um, Ohio. And we also have, you're at the right place. Do you need, a, do you have a natural cleanser? Yes. We have, a nat we have several natural cleanser on our channel page. If you check out my channel page, we post one um, last week. As a matter of fact, we post about three videos that can be used as a facial cleanser. So just go on the channel page and check it out. I promise you all that I'm gonna be making new um, playlists so you can tend to find things much easier. And we have um, Pastel is watching from um, Canon, New Jersey. Who else is watching from somewhere? And Lady um, Lady Million, I drink saffron, ginseng, jasmine, green tea, and um, oblong. And there's a lot about oblong. I normally have um, oblong um, at home here. And a lot of you might not know that it is one of the ideal tea for weight loss. So if you're looking to shed that belly fat, you can just start to drink up that oblong. And Georgia, how are you, Georgia? Georgia play, plays is... Paisley, that is, and um, I was asking earlier where you are all watching from. Jackie Mom, green tea mixed with rose water and facial as a facial toner. So we are here. If you're just joining us, we're gonna be brewing some tea tonight. We're gonna brew about five, and I wish I have someone here to. To, to taste. It's actually, we're brewing them because we want to use them topically on the skin, but they are all good to consume. And we have um, Demetria watching from Jacksonville, of Florida. Welcome. John Otis, do you have any homemade rituals for deep smile wrinkles? Thank you. And you just missed the show um, two nights ago. We actually have a show where we were massaging our skin and that was amazing that was on saturday night i think but we also have amazing remedies that you can use on the skin to reduce the laugh lines and i'm going to show you one really really quick and you can take your two fingers like this you can put them right between your eyes like this you can drag it and pull it up and hold it and that is a good way to massage the skin to get rid of um your deep laugh lines but on this channel we so much into anti-aging that you can actually just 
go on the channel page and you'll find a wide variety of videos that is geared towards getting rid of the laugh lines. So now that our tea is brewing, I'm gonna start out with a really, really fancy one, you know, to just get you guys, you know, your little, you know, get you all um, wake up. And the first one we're gonna start out with is the hibiscus tea. Now this hibiscus tea um, has been used for centuries on the skin. However, it is now back up and running in circulation for using topically on the skin. But the thing you also need to know about the hibiscus tea is that it is also great for weight, weight loss. It's rich in antioxidant and all the amazing wrinkle fighting properties that you need to, let me um, let me um, pull this um, off so that it could like stop. Let it, oh my goodness, guys, <clears throat> look at it. Ooh, steam in the face. Yes. Anyway, um, I discussed the rich in antioxidant, rich in all the essential wrinkle fighting properties that you can apply on the skin. This is not a sponsored video. These are my personal tea that I purchased for myself. So we're going to pull the I discuss flower tea out and I discuss this one that I'm using is organic um, to each his own use whatever you're comfortable with and as I was saying if you're just joining us we are making some tea tonight and we're using a tea bag a tea bag is normally round about a, a teaspoon of whatever is in the bag so the i discussed as i was saying guys you can act whoops you can actually um consume it it's amazing for consumption and it is extremely great for weight loss and it is good to use on your skin to help your skin to look younger fresher and brighter when you drink you know a bit of it but using it topically on the skin you can actually use it to make a facial um, serum a facial toner I personally like a good hibiscus facial toner so how to brew your tea you normally um, just put your tea bag in and we're gonna pour and this brew about if you want strong tea you only do six ounces if you're greedy like me and you like your tea you're gonna like just fill the glass um all the way up to the top so this is what the hibiscus tea look like guys and let me take a little sniff for you it's my tea i could do this and it have an amazing fragrance now if you want to make a facial toner with this hibiscus tea what you do you pour the hot water like i'm showing here and you can choose to cover it with a plastic wrap or a five paper and you put it aside to brew now all these tea is going to take um for for a stronger brew you leave it in for longer run about five minutes and for a lighter brew you do about three minutes however when it comes on to using these topically on the skin what i personally like to do is to brew it and put it away overnight you know cover it do not refrigerate it just cover it and leave it there to brew and then the next day it's going to be brewed and cool and you're going to get the full strength of the antioxidant coming from the tea so this is the hibiscus tea now if you live somewhere and you have sorrel you have sorrel you can actually use the sorrel, which is a form of an hibiscus to replace the hibiscus. Like for you out there, like in Jamaica and all of that, well, you have enough hibiscus, so you really don't even need to use the sorrel, but the sorrel is a part of the hibiscus family. So here we have this hibiscus tea. Now, once this tea is brewed, you I, I'm not gonna sip it right now because it's really, really hot. I don't like my tea too hot, but we're gonna get back to it um, a little later. But if you have not tried, how many of you have tried the hibiscus tea before? And if you're curious about how to consume it, that this is just what it is. You just brew it, you let it sit a little. If you want it to taste a bit stronger, you leave it for five minutes. And if you are if you like light tea, then you just leave it for about three minutes. Now for me, I try it just like this. I try it with a um, one to two cubes of sugar. And the other day I tried with some creamer and oh my goodness, it was really, really good. So it's like my newfound tea and I use it 
on my skin topically you use it as a facial toner guys you're looking to reduce the forehead wrinkles this is the tea for you if you're looking to get rid of the under eyes wrinkles this is the tea for you you just soak up some cotton pads in this when it is cooled and place it under your eyes or you can use this to make a facial mask how do you use it to make a facial mask you get some cornstarch and you pour a bit of this in it and you whisk it up and then you just apply it on the face. You can also get some um, clay mask and green clay um, fullers or any of those. You pour a bit of the tea in it and you apply it on the skin. Amazing. We're going to take some questions and then we're going to move on to tea number two. If you're joining us just now, this is our hibiscus of flower tea that you can use on the skin topically and you can also drink it. John, how to spell those T? I discuss it is H I B I S C U S. I discuss a flower tea, and I'm going to put the link to all these tea when the show is over. Ilma wants to try it, and um, um, curls, curls, and the making. I love hibiscus tea. It has been an antioxidant. It has more antioxidant than green tea. And thank you for that. I totally forget to say that. And guess what, guys? There's other things that you can do with this hibiscus tea. Nowadays, when you go out, um, like here in New York, this is like the thing when you go like, you know, partying and all of that, and you're looking for a little zip with your little zip, which we don't want to get into the, mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah, but yes, this Moscow Mule, the hibiscus tea is the thing these days. So not only it is getting, not only is it now very, very popular for your skincare and your wrinkles, but it's also now popular for a good, nice, you know, drink um per se so let's move on and we're gonna move on to our second tea because most people are accustomed with green tea we're gonna get the green tea out of the way so today i have um one green tea now this is the most popular tea that people use on the skin the green tea and i um personally don't like to drink green green tea okay I actually drink it because I know it's good for me. But when it comes down to the skin and to use it topically on the skin, it is an amazing anti-aging tea that you can use. So now let's just pour our um, hot water, make sure the water is to boiling point, and we're gonna just load up our cup. I choose this cup today because I want you all to see the amazing colors that these tea do produce and all of that is the anthrocinamycin that help the skin to look younger and healthier and give you that natural glow so right now we are brewing up some green tea if you're just joining here we have the hibiscus tea that's the one you just missed and now this is the most popular one and this is one that most people have available to them just like the hibiscus tea it have to reduce the wrinkles and the fine lines it also have to smooth the under eyes it also have to cool your eyes it's good for your face your neck and decollete it have to boost circulation in the skin an amazing um, tea to use on your skin topically and it is actually very very pleasant and refreshing to drink and you can just drop a little lemon as a matter of fact a little lemon in any of these goes a long way that amazing green and tea if you do not have green tea and you have the matcha tea that is even a stronger form of a green tea as with the hibiscus tea the green tea can be used on your skin topically a.m. and p.m. you can even choose to use the green tea to wash your face okay if you are a person with oily skin you can brew this green tea blend up some oatmeal mix this green tea in the oatmeal and use that to exfoliate your skin you are getting rid of grease and dirt and dead skin cells while reducing wrinkles on the skin boosting collagen and also lifting tightening and firming the skin I like to brew my green tea and I like to make it very very strong so I normally just cover it and I set it aside stronger brew just like the hibiscus is five minutes and um, a lighter brew is about a three minutes if you're making your skincare um, products guys um, remedies and all of that brew overnight for better um, um, stronger antioxidant let me take some questions Gigi 
um, when I drink green tea, it keeps me awake. And that is because green tea, um, green tea, um, I just lose my train of thought, what I was going to say um, about green tea. Yeah, the caffeine, that's what I'm trying to remember. Green tea do have caffeine, but you can also buy decaffeinated green tea. Now, if you're looking for green tea to use on your skin topically, definitely go with the regular green tea because the caffeine also helps with circulation. But if you're looking to just drink it, Go ahead and get that decaffeinated green tea. Any tea that you're going to use comes with decaffeinated or caffeine-free. The hibiscus is this. My hibiscus that I'm using right now is caffeine-free. So if you don't want to fall asleep, reach for caffeine-free tea. If you're just joining us right here on our table, we have some hibiscus tea and we have some green tea. And all of this can be used on the skin topically all green tea green tea and hibiscus tea you can use as a facial toner now look at this just imagine mixing the green tea with the hibiscus tea to make your facial toner it's an amazing facial toner that you're gonna get there that can help to transform the skin and um let me hear some comment um it's also very good for foot bath yes matcha is good too for green tea and um marla is greedy for tea married green tea milk and cornstarch for tightening the skin green tea milk and cornstarch can tighten the skin you can choose to brew the green tea or you can choose to just pour the tea leaves in that cornstarch whip it up and use it on the skin you can use green tea to make a facial scrub Pour that green tea leaves on some brown sugar with a little bit of a milk or with a little bit of a soy milk or with a little bit of a coconut oil. Use it to exfoliate your skin. Your face, your neck is going to leave your skin just looking fresh and glowy. And Lady Mucus, oh, Lady Mucus, Lady Milliam sometimes for a mucus. Um, how to get rid of wrinkles near the nose and um, forehead, guys, question. So to get rid of wrinkles, to get rid of wrinkles near the nose, and I'm thinking that you're talking about the, the laugh lines, you have to use some skin tightening remedy, use some of these tea, use them to mix in some clay mask or some cornstarch or some oatmeal for the skin tightening effect and use them on the skin. Make sure to use anti-aging um, ingredients such as vitamin A, a good source of vitamin A. You can find it in like avocado oil. You can also find it in cacao oil, rose oil, and you can find it in carrot seed oil. Those kind of oils will have to lift, tighten, and firm and reduce the wrinkles and fine lines in the skin. And if I have another lady millionaire, you ask what tea is good for mucus. Oh, okay, you guys go ahead and comment on that so there you have it so far two amazing teeth that you can use topically on the skin now we're gonna pull out my newfound favorite and this one i introduced to my channel just recently this is the butterfly you know it wasn't gonna get out of here without talking about this the butterfly pea tea butterfly pea flower tea this tea guys is going really fast in my old school now because if you try this tea with some creamer, oh my goodness, this is so good. But most of all, I love to use this on the skin. Rich in antioxidant, um, that can help to transform the skin, reduce the wrinkles and fine lines. You can also use the butterfly um, tea flowers to make your facial toner, your serum. You can also use it to make your skin tightening remedies your overnight mask you can just make a wide variety of remedies with this butterfly pea we are gonna just pour this hot water over and we are pouring 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 and stop so there we are making our butterfly pea flowers if you're just joining we are at number three we have two more to go butterfly pea flower um butterfly pea i always mess up pure butterfly pea flower tea guys can be used on the skin topically just like the other two if you're just joining this is hibiscus this is green tea and now we're at the butterfly pea flowers this you can use as a facial wash you can mix this with any of your um 
your 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 base like your rice you can mix it with um oatmeal and you can use it to exfoliate the skin you can use this to make a serum which is what i like and if you want a recipe for the butterfly pea flowers it is on the channel page go on the channel page we have a recipe using this for serum and we also have a recipe using it for um a facial moisturizer so you'll have the um full recipe showing you how to use the butterfly pea flowers topically on the skin one thing i like with this butterfly pea flower guys is to mix it with some star anise so i just a brew like now i could just throw the star anise in it cover it up and set it aside overnight it make an amazing anti-aging skin tightening skin firming skin lifting facial serum i'm telling you use it at night it will have to transform your skin use it for six weeks straight and you're on your way to healthy looking skin that facial toner is so amazing it definitely get your skin to look tighter as a matter of fact when you spritz it on the skin you can feel that tightness on the skin and it gives the skin a natural glow butterfly pea flowers guys a must try a must try if you can get your hands on it you definitely should try it let me take some questions and then we are gonna move on we are featuring 5t that you can use on the skin topically to reduce wrinkles and fine lines to boost collagen production in the skin to actually lift your skin to give your skin a natural glow to smooth the skin and best of all one thing I totally forget to mention is that most of these have antibacterial properties which makes them great for acne prone skin for textured skin for people with pimples on the skin aging skin get rid of dull skin these are some amazing tea that you can use now um and marie aris i bought the butterfly pea tea flowers but what are you waiting for i bought the butterfly tea flower but i haven't used it yet thank you for the amazing tip now i follow you for years now from north jersey thank you for your sweet spirit and wisdom and i thank you so much for your comment and thank you for joining us tonight you got to take it you are gonna be like so blown away when you start using it and this is no joke okay use it in the remedies but try drinking some and if you have your favorite creamer, you just brew it and pour a little in it. This is all I've been drinking recently. And I'm not even kidding you. Very, very nice, mild taste. And not only that, when you drink, you know you're reaping all the amazing antioxidant benefits. It's a must. How many of you have tried the butterfly pea flowers? If you're just joining, this is hibiscus tea, this is green tea, and this is the butterfly pea flowers, which we are just featuring. What is the benefit of a skin toner? We got to take this question, guys. Now, when you cleanse your face, the first thing that you apply on your skin is a facial toner. Now, a, fa a good facial toner is going to be rich in antioxidant, and it's also going to have to balance the ph balance the natural oils on the skin when you use a facial toner on the skin it will pave the way for your serum your moisturizer and even your facial oil to work better on the skin it's also very very cooling to the skin and it's very hydrating just like a serum that's have to repair the skin when you spritz on that facial toner on the skin it just gives the skin an amazing feeling, a cool feeling while reducing the wrinkles and the fine lines. And guess what? If you're using these tea as a facial toner, remember I just stated that they do have antibacterial properties. So they're going to have to control like your acne and your textured skin, your pimples, and even your little blackheads and whiteheads that tend to pop up on the skin. So we are moving on. Let's take some questions. Tonight I'm using a lot of lights and I'm getting a little warm. So let's uh, take some question. Um, Margaret got hers. Um, okay, so someone is answering. Um, Margaret, um, you know what, Margaret? I'm gonna try to um, send you one. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Okay. All right. So um, I, and I did promise the hibiscus tea too. So I anyway. We'll keep in touch. All right. So, um, any question on any of these tea? If you're just joining, let's take some question. We have what you miss. We have the hibiscus tea, and oh my goodness! Oh, 
very very refreshing it's a little tart like you know but it's good and yes all of these you can just drink them with no sugar like the hibiscus tea so refreshing it's like you don't need sugar in it believe it or not and also the butterfly well you know i'm not like it's so much of a fan of the green tea but i still drink it no kitchen this is from Magdalene. I do drink it, but I've never tried with a creamer. You got to try it with the creamer. And um, I use honey and lemon juice. And with lemon juice, the color becomes purple. Yes, and that is because of the lactic acid. And this is the reason why they use the butterfly pea flowers to make those masks for mule also. Yes. But yeah, I'm giving you guys some tips, you know. Yeah, because... and. Um, because it gives you a wide variety of color when you add other things to it. And it looks good. And you are getting all the antioxidants. Tonight we are talking about using these on the skin topically. For you who are just joining, this is some hibiscus. And this, all of these are my tea. So we are, I'm using the hibiscus flower tea. And it is in this. This is this. And our second tea, we are using green tea and this is this this is green tea and our third tea that we are now featuring the third one we're going to feature five tonight is the butterfly pea flowers and this is it and all of these are amazing and the beauty of all of this like i'm brewing these tonight i'm probably going to drink two of these and anything that is left i am probably going to use it to make some facial toner because i'm not going to throw them out so i just tasted the, the I discussed tea and it tastes really refreshing. Just before you go to sleep, you can take a little bit, you can drink it. If you don't finish it, leave the rest for the tomorrow to make some facial serum. We're taking some questions and then we're gonna move on. We have two more tea to go tonight, guys. We have the hibiscus that we just feature. We have the green tea, we have the butterfly pea, and we are moving on. So let me reach for another cup right here mug whatever you call it and then we are gonna pull out another tea and most of you is familiar with this one this is the chamomile tea i made several recipes using the chamomile tea chamomile tea is another amazing tea to use topically on the skin i like to use my chamomile to make a facial wash and i like to mix it with like a blended i have this powdered um facial wash that i use on my channel i make it for you all i use some green tea i use chamomile i use oatmeal what else i use in it i, I use a, a little bit of a rice and i blend that all together and make a dry facial wash whenever i'm ready to use it i had any liquid and chamomile is one liquid that I like to add to it. You can add any of these as liquid or you can even add a little bit of a milk. So we're going to just pour the chamomile. Remember I was talking earlier about the longer you leave the tea to brew is the stronger it is. And you could tell by these that I have already made that they're now looking really, really strong. So let me um brew up my chamomile and most people know about chamomile for sleep like just before you go to bed but what most of you might not be aware of is the amazing antioxidant that you get from this chamomile and chamomile is not tea okay chamomile is not tea some of these for instance if you have like the green tea that is from tea leaves if you have like the um the black tea that is a from tea leaf chamomile is from the flowers of the chamomile and it is not tea at all but we you know we use it as a hot beverage and we just class everything as tea just like how you have um some of the herbal tea herbal tea is a mix of different like orange peel and grapefruit peel and a little bit of a black tea and all of that jazz but that is at the end we pour water we're drinking and we say it is tea so now we're gonna mix and that is why this is different a little different when it comes on to the antioxidant that you would find in the the hibiscus the the green tea and also the butterfly pea flowers all of these are just some bushes that is good for the skin that you can use on the skin topically and the chamomile tea you're gonna notice that it has um a uh, very very light yellow much lighter than the green tea a good green tea believe it or not if you buy yourself a good 
green tea. And I actually learned this in Japan, that a good green tea is going to look a little bit more green than yellow when you pour it. How many of you know about that? So some of the times we get tea here, we look at it and it's not as green. But if you go to some countries that really produce tea and is into tea, they'll tell you that a good green tea is going to be more green than yellow. This is my green tea here. And I can see that my green tea that I made here is a little bit more yellow than green. And you can take a look at that, guys. That is the green tea there. But a really good green tea is going to be a little light, 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 light green than yellow. Let me taste this green tea. Hello. I'm not a green tea fan, guys, but I do drink green tea and I like to use it on my skin. So for those of you who are just joining, we have some hibiscus tea, we have some green tea, we have some butterfly pea flower tea, and here I'm now brewing the good old chamomile tea. You know what I personally like about chamomile tea? The scent. Mmm, ooh, I just love that fragrance. And guess what? You can steam your face with any of these tea. That's something I forget to mention. If you are steaming the face, you can put any of these in some water, pot of water boiling up, and just let it bounce on your face. Just bounce on your face like that. You can even choose to brew the tea. And that, if you have that um, facial steamer, you pour the brew green tea in that facial steamer, just the liquid, no form of particles, and that is going to steam your face, guys. I have my facial steamer, and if we have time, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. I'll pour one of these in my facial steamer and steam my face if we have time for the show tonight. But the chamomile tea is something you should not shy away from. And if you go on my channel page, you're going to notice I use it pretty often to make skincare products. Products, okay I use this as a facial toner I mix it with other ingredients to use your chamomile tea as a facial serum you brew the chamomile tea I like to set it aside for overnight just like the rest of the teas that we have here and once that is done you just had some vegetable glycerine a little bit of an olive vera gel you can even have some orange peel but you had the orange peel or the lemon peel while you are brewing it and that is going to give you an amazing facial syrup if you live somewhere that is very very hot then you put it in the fridge and when you feel like you need a little cooling down you spritz it all over your face the chamomile tea is amazing to use topically and it is also amazing to use you know to die for digestion it have to sleep, you know with sleep, we're not supposed to mention anything because some people think those are little medical considerations. So we're not diving into that side of the tea tonight, even though if you want me to do a quick review later, another show talking about some other kind of benefits, then we probably could see how we could tweak it. So chamomile tea is right here brewing. I cannot taste the chamomile right now because it's way too hot. The rest of these that we're brewing right here um, is now cool. So now I'm going to taste the the fried pea flour for you guys. This little taste, this little, those of you who have the butterfly pea flowers, try it. You got to try it, okay? Do, go ahead and brew it, drink some, and use one, you know, one of the tea bags. The beauty of it, um, I sent someone some loose leaf. You can get it in loose leaf too. So you brew a little and you make your homemade remedies. You use it on the skin. Amazing for wrinkles and fine lines. That's what we're talking about tonight. All of these tea can help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines. It can help you to reverse in aging. And thank you, um, Pastel, for contributing to our super sticker. So any question and any of these tea, let me let the... Um, the chamomile brew and I'm gonna move on to my final tea now I could not have a show talking about tea without featuring this tea some of you are gonna be blown away with the tea that I'm gonna bring out right now and guess why you're gonna be blown away because most of you might have this tea in your pantry not knowing that you can use it topically on the skin when people are introduced to tea I know that this is one that most people are you know are you know introduced to first and it is going to be the regular black tea. It's the most common and it is the most popular tea that you can find out there. However, it is an amazing tea to use on the skin topically. Not only that, it is also an amazing tea to drink. 
the black tea. Now, let me give you all some heads up. Most of the special tea that you're going to find out there, all of those mixed blend of tea, the base is always black tea. So if you go out there and they have a lot of fancy um, tea shops and you're going to buy those amazing blends, they are going to have the black tea as the base because it is one of the tea that is you'll find in abundance. It's like everywhere, wherever the farmers are, they're going to be you know, cultivating the black tea. And it's not because it's no good of a tea, it's because it's a very, very good tea and it is also a very good tea to blend. You're looking to make your orange spice tea, black tea is the base. You're looking to make your chai latte, da, 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 orange tea is the base. All of those herbal tea that you get out there, some that also have tea, not all herbal tea have any form of a tea. Some of them is what they said, it's just herb. But if they have to add any tea to it, it's gonna be the black tea. And if you buy regular old tea bag, as if, depending on where you're from, like, you know, I don't wanna show this brand, but this is um, my black tea collection. And um, it's a tea that, you're gonna be introduced to a lot of places that you go if you just ask for tea. Like if you go into a restaurant and you say, can I have some tea? And if it's not a, like a hoppity, hoppity, hoppity restaurant where they're trying to sell their special tea, like the hibiscus tea and the chamomile and the green tea and all of that, you ask for tea, you get in black tea, okay? Just so you all know that it's black tea. Now black tea is not really black when you um, pour it. So let me put my black tea in, rich in antioxidant. It's an amazing tea to use as a facial scrub. You mix this black tea with some sugar, mix this black tea with some rice, mix this black tea, and I'm sure a lot of you looking to see if it's gonna turn black. No, the black tea is not gonna turn black at all. It's not gonna turn black. Wouldn't it be something if black tea was really black? But this is your regular, and as I said, the most, um, common tea that you're gonna find out there and it's good for wrinkles it's of all the properties that the green tea have is just because the way they manufacture just the way they reap the green tea while some people think it have more benefits just so you know black tea is uh, just regular old tea leaves like tea you know but the green tea is harvesting um, by just picking just like, you know, the younger part of the green tea. And that is how you find that, that, how many of you know about like suckling, like you using, um, vegetables and stuff like that when the sprouts sprouting sprouting. Now the, the matcha tea is normally like just green tea sprout. The green tea is the top part of the green tea plant. They pick that out. And the rest that is left there is just not high quality. The black tea, on, on the other hand, is all of the plant. When they're reaping the black tea, they just scrape off all that leaf. They don't differentiate whether or not to just pick the little young part of it. So that is why the black tea is so much common. How many of you watching like Earl Grey? Up to today is one of my favorite tea. Just so you all know, Herd Grace Black Tea with an addition, other additional fragrance of bergamot. Okay, so that is what I'm trying to tell you. And I have a little. I love um, Earl Grey tea, so I do a lot of reading on it. And just so you all know that it was designed for the rich and the famous, that Earl Grey tea. And it is widely used, like in England and so on. As a matter of fact, it is one of the most popular tea that you'll find like in England. If you go to England, like, um, and so if you're watching and Ilma is from England, you walk in, that is, if, they, if you ask for tea, it's gonna be black tea, or then you will have to say Earl Grey, okay? But um, it's all black tea, a lot of your fancy tea, the base is black tea, okay? A lot of the fancy tea that you have out there, the nice mix, I used to buy my tea from this tea shop, I think they, close them right now and they used to make some amazing mix and the base is always black tea mixed with other tea so if you're just joining what we have here let me go through really really quick we this is a one two three four that's the last one so i can remove the kettles and we could actually the kettle and we can actually go back over the the different tea that we have right here so we have a lineup of tea the final tea that we just 
feature is the black tea. And I do look a little black. Look at that, guys. So the, the last one is black tea, which is good to use on the skin. You can use it and you can mix it with any of these, okay? You can mix it with any of these. The black tea, good to use topically on the skin and good to consume. That is the last tea. So let's go over all five for those people who are just getting here. So let's line them up. And yes, I remember every single one of them by the color. Look how rich this black tea is right now. This is the tea that you're most familiar with. So guys, I discuss um, tea. This is it right here. Thank you, Victoria, for contributing five pound to our channel. And who has some pasta, dreamy, contribute three dollars to our channel. That means I'm getting some money to buy back some more tea. Okay, so this is the Ibiscus tea flowers, which is good for Ibiscus tea. Ibiscus tea, which is good to use topically on the skin. Use it as a serum. Use it as a moisturizer drink it wash your face with it mix it up in your clay to make a good clay mask here we have the very famous green tea and green tea is one tea that most people use because of the rich anti i'm trying to make space guys because of the rich antioxidant properties loaded with wrinkle fighting properties that is good to use topically on the skin where do i put this throw it on my deck so i guess i have to clean it after topically on the skin so here we have the green tea good for most skin type good for most skin type the next tea in line that we have is the butterfly pea flower tea pretty new to a lot of you guys but it's you know has been around forever good for a lot of things but more so it is good to use on the skin topically next tea in line is the chamomile tea a very refreshing very fragrant friendly tea that you can mix up as a toner and you can use it just like you use the regular um tea that we just mentioned they're all good for smoothing wrinkles on the skin they're all good for hydrating and this also is one tea that is also rich in antibacterial properties making it great for acne prone skin and the final tea that we have here is our regular black tea popular tea that you drink that most people like if you're from jamaica we simply call this tea bag <laughs> How many of you call this tea bag? Okay, how many of you just call regular black tea tea bag or you just call it tea? And the reason that is actually coming like from an English setting, what that I was mentioning um, earlier, that if you go to certain countries and you ask for tea, you're going to be getting black tea. This is the only tea that you could walk into a restaurant and you ask for tea, you're going to get. Any other tea, you got to say the name. So if you go in a restaurant and you want hibiscus tea, you got to be like, can I have hibiscus tea? If you want green tea, you got to say, can I have green tea? If you want butterfly pea flowers, you got to say, can I have butterfly pea flowers? If you want chamomile, you got to say chamomile, but you don't have to say you want black tea. You just say, can I have some tea? And you're going to get black tea. If you have any question, go ahead and ask. We're going to take some question right now. And for those of you who are just joining, any question on any of these tea and the many benefits, we can gladly share them with you tonight. Merit, it's also a thumbs up or thumbs down under our video. Give her a thumbs up. Thank you so much for that, Merit. If you are watching and you're just joining and you like the show tonight, support the channel by just giving us a thumbs up. That's all we ask. And we also ask you to comment oh margaret wants to see me steam all right so we are gonna try the steam and i think i'm gonna make two of these tea tonight for the steaming and steaming the face with any of these teas is amazing guys if you have a facial steamer you can use the tea in it no form of a particles okay and when you're done steaming your face pull out your little thing and you know wash it out really good if you do not have a facial steamer and you're using like a pot to steam the face just drop a tea bag any of these tea bags your hibiscus your green tea your butterfly pea flowers your chamomile or your black tea you can just drop it in and let that steam it your face so i'm gonna reach for my facial steamer and i hope it's right here yes it is um i'm gonna shift this a little anyone have a half a space that they want to rent me, give to me free in the New York area. <laughs> My office is so small. All right, so 
Here is the facial steamer. Now, if you're going to steam your face, make sure to wash your face before, okay? So excuse me if my face is not, you know, nicely washed today. So this is a little thing that I was telling you all about, guys. Here it is. This is where you put your water in when you're going to steam your face. If you have a facial steamer, every facial steamer is different. This is just mine. So what I'm going to do for you today, tonight, and let's see if I have water. Yes. So I'm going to actually open mine. Um, let's see if I have my hands a little. All right. So here it is. Hang on there. We're going to be steaming our face with, I'm going to be steaming my face with some, um, tea tonight and I, I didn't taste the black tea let me taste it it's good very very light if you're like a tea tea person black tea is good to drink like that personally when i want to drink tea like i just feed for just tea no sugar no nothing and it's just refreshing the black tea i think it have a really nice taste if you try add nothing to it okay and the chamomile is the same however when it comes out to the butterfly pea and the hibiscus to me if they do have a little sweetness to them because the petal um, it's not going to be like bland like when you try to drink the black tea or even the 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 chamomile the the Butterfly pea and the ibiscus have a little a little thing to it, and make, that's what makes it really comfortable to just drink. But to each its own. You can go ahead with lemon for any of these if you're trying to drink them, and you can also go ahead and add a little bit of uh, milk. Okay, but definitely you definitely need to try them on the skin topically. So if you're just joining, we're gonna be steaming our face right now, and we're using. You know the tea that is cold so i'm gonna do a mix tonight so what two tea do you think i should mix tonight to steam my face i want to know your favorite um while we're gonna prepare our steamer which of these are your favorite and let me run over the tea the butterfly pea are better yet the first thing you're gonna list is which of these that you have not yet tried that's the first thing you're gonna come in which tea out of all the five the hibiscus tea, the green tea, the butterfly pea flowers, the chamomile tea, and the black tea. Which of these you have not yet tried? Let me hear to see how many you have not tried any of these. Now, um, curls is um, hibiscus and green tea, and Maya, butterfly and green tea, and Margaret, one and two. So this one is, I, oh, okay, what are you answering to? First of all, let me ask, what are you answering to? The first, I, I think I, you know, the first time I asked about which two to use. So I think some of you are answering to which two to use and some of you are answering to the ones that you have not tried. So we're going to start over. Which of these tea out of the five you have not yet tried or you have never seen or you have not, uh, or you didn't have any idea that is exists. And then after that, I'm going to ask the second question. So uh, to refresh your memory, this is the Ibiscus tea. And now it is really brewed and so refreshing. I'm thirsty too, so it's good. That is the hibiscus tea. I almost finished my hibiscus tea. You can see the least one that I sip, which is the green tea. And this is green tea. Still not my favorite. And here we have the butterfly pea, which is now like my new pond favorite. Mm. Oh. I'm getting all these antioxidants. Who out there is jealous? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be good tonight. And here we have the chamomile. This is one, most people know about chamomile for putting you to sleep, but it's good to use on the skin topically. I love the taste of chamomile tea, believe it or not. When I say I love the taste, I just love thus the taste, the fragrant. I, I just love it, love it, love it. And this is why I like to use it in the facial, like the facial wash and all of that, because you get that natural chamomile perfume. Um, you know, it just make it so pleasant and relaxing. And now, guys, for those of you who are just, the chamomile also is good with mint, and it's also is good with lemon. And here we have the last one, which is the black tea. The black tea is still very hot because we brew it last. So that's the one that, it's a little hot right now, but I love it all. So now, most people, some people, the butterfly pea, most people have no idea about the butterfly pea 
are the hibiscus. The butterfly pea, I haven't tried, and hibiscus, I haven't tried. That is from Rita. Okay, Rita, we probably need to hook you up. And we also have hibiscus tea is wonderful. That's from Pamela. Um, Shireen, butterfly tea, hibiscus tea, black tea, I never tried. Shireen, where are you watching from? Comment, because I'm almost sure you try black tea, okay? So you probably joined a little late. Lynn, I love, I love the fast, the fast and the and the smell. It smells amazing. Lady Million, because they are so strong, Chi Chi, I put honey and my um my fresh raw honey is okay. Yes, most people like to have the tea with honey. Butterfly and I discuss never try. Sharon Reed, butterfly. Um who else is here? Azel, never try the butterfly pea and the hibiscus tea. Now, I was asking Shireen, never seen them in Jamaica. Now, Shireen, let me tell you something. You you drink Tetley tea or rose, rose something or another tea? It's black tea, okay? What we call tea bag in Jamaica is black tea. So if you go and you buy a pack of, I can't remember some of the brands now, guys. I've been... um out of Jamaica now for 20 odd years. I'm, I'm almost touching 24 years. So some brand I don't remember, but when I was growing up, when we talk about tea and you go to the shop and you buy tea, it's tea, we call it tea bag and that is black tea, okay? That is black tea. That's why I asked where you're watching from because I know you probably already tried the black tea. Yes, red rose, that's the one I was trying to remember. The red rose, uh, not a free commercial, guys. These are how it is. So now that we're on, uh, I can see that the butterfly pea flowers, most people have not tried. The hibiscus. Now I'm going to give you all another tip. If you live somewhere, let me show you the, the package with the hibiscus. Because most warm countries or island have hibiscus. It's the same thing that we call shoe black back home. Okay? Take a look. Let me cover the brand. Take a look at that picture. You know that? We call it roses in Jamaica. Okay? It's hibiscus. We call it roses. Can you see all see that, guys? That is the same thing that we call shoe black. That is the petal, and that is what they are called. That is what hibiscus is. And guess what? When we were little, we used to pick the hibiscus, and we used to take out this little part out of it, the little flower and thing. And if you suck on it, it's sweet. Just pull it out and suck on it, okay? It's very, very sweet. And that is why it now gives this a rich flavor. And the first time I was introduced to hibiscus flowers, the honest truth is, and I think I shared this with you all, I I was not the type of person that when, when I travel, I seek things out. And I was into weight loss and I went to... I was in France and I went in this store and they feature a lot of weight loss products. And I noticed that shoe black for my Jamaican was a features, features as one weight loss tea, okay, that have you to lose weight. And I picked up about three to four packs and I brought them home and it did help. Listen carefully, guys. It did help. We're not promoting weight loss now. We're promoting skincare, but it's a little tip for you guys. That's why I went and buy up all these the other day because your girl need to get some weight off. So that is what the hibiscus tea is. Now, if you live somewhere where there is no form of a fertilizer, some of you use this. Oh, there's a better leave on the back of this box. See there? Some of you use it for edging and all of that. And if you know that petal is clean, take it. You can dry it and you can drink it. Or you can boil it fresh like that. It's the same hibiscus flowers. What you need to not do is go to the resort and pick those that hang off because they have all a wide variety of color. Because those, they use all kinds of things for it to look healthy. They use a plant grower, this, that, that. You don't need it. But if you live somewhere or you see your neighbor with a little nice fence in and the hibiscus room, this is what this is. This is what it is, the hibiscus. All right, guys. So now we are going to move on. And I learned something on my channel, too. I think one of my subscribers, I'm not sure if it's Amenia, um, but there's another country that actually call hibiscus shoe black also. All right. So now I'm going to ask you all, which two of these do you want me to mix to put in the facial steamer to quickly steam my face? Which two? Any of these can mix together. 
You can mix all of these together to make a very strong antioxidant facial toner. I'm not telling you to run out and buy all of these. I am a tea person, okay, guys? I'm a tea person and I do shows for you. That's why I have all of these. But all of these I do drink. And that is the honest truth, too. I don't drink all of these tea every night, okay? Not every night. Not every night. If I feel for a tea, a little tea, some people spend money in certain life. Some people gamble. Some people buy, you know, expensive things. Some people buy nice, fancy shoes and all of that. These are the kind of things that I personally like. I like to have a variety like tea, just like how I have a like, like to have a variety of shower gel and stuff like that. So I would go in on a mm, what tea tonight. Whatever mood I'm in, that's what I'm going to drink, okay? So that's it. So don't go rush and get all of these tea. But if you can, it's actually good to have them, okay? All right, so one and two, I discuss and green tea. Butterfly tea, chamomile, black tea. Let's see what's going to be a winner. Let me hear from you guys. What two teas do you want me to mix the steam with? I'm seeing one and three. I discuss some butterfly butterfly and green tea the one that get the most vote is the one that i'm going to use right now i'm seeing number one is coming up almost everyone is referring to number one which is the ibiscus now we we take the ibiscus out of it we're going to be using the ibiscus now select one and let me see which is going to come popular to mix with the ibiscus we have green tea we have um butterfly pea we have um, chamomile, and we have black tea. Which of these do you want me to mix with the ibiscus? Which of these do you want me to mix with the ibiscus? We're taking the ibiscus away. So we are having ibiscus and butterfly. Ibiscus and butterfly, one and three. Can any of them stain the skin? No. And that's a good question. And this is the beauty about using tea. If the tea stain your skin, it means they add things to it. Okay? If it's stain your skin, it means they add coloring to it. Now, most tea companies specialize in making their tea pure. Okay? Most tea companies are going to make pure tea. The only tea you don't trust is those herbal that they mix a whole variety of things in it, like 10 different ingredients. But all of these are in the natural state. And that is another thing too. If you buy organic, I'm not telling you all to run and buy organic, but it's supposed to be natural. The butterfly pea, if you go find the bush and you just rub the petal in your hand and look at it, it's gonna be blue. You wash it off under the water, it's just gonna rinse off. And it's make amazing, no dye, no dye, okay? And make sure when you are buying these tea, you turn it over and you look at the ingredient and it's supposed to say 100% pure. Any at all that put any form of a dye in it, then they will have to list it. So these are just as is. Just as though you find a rose and you pour out water and get nice and pink. That's what it is. So now we realize that oh, the winner is uh, butterfly pea flowers and the hibiscus. So these are the two that we're going to be using tonight. And if you're just, you notice how you guys like the pretty colors. Now, I don't know about the pouring, okay? I don't know about the pouring. So let me just put my um, my thing right there in, just in case I'm making a mess because these don't have any sprout on them. But I'm going to try my best. So I'm going to pour the butterfly pea. All right, stop it right there. Didn't make much of a mess. That's good. Sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And now we're going to pour that was the hibiscus butterfly pea flowers. Going to pour that in. Now it's all purple. And that's good. Sorry, guys. You want me to be honest with you guys? If I was sitting here for the next. Or I could finish all of these. I told you guys I'm a tea person. I could finish all of these, but it's not good. It's not good to drink all of this amount of tea because guess what? You won't be able to sleep. Now, this is all purple in here when you mix the two together. Really pretty, pretty, pretty purple. So now we're going to cover this and I got to make sure that it is very, very tight because if you're just joining, we are sharing some tea 
and now we're gonna be steaming our face we have five tea that is good for reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin we have the ibiscus tea the butterfly pea flowers we have the chamomile tea we also have the green tea and we also have the black tea now we're gonna steam our face because all of these is great for using on the skin and I'm just gonna show you how you can add them to your facial steamer so here we have the steamer and I think I have a little bit of a water in my steamer right here that I pour it out so nothing much and there I have it and I'm gonna put everyone's steamer is different and um, that's just mine right there and now I'm gonna plug it in Let's Okay, and it should be ready in a few. So you can use this in your steamer to steam your face. And if you are, turn it on. And if you are using a pot, you can actually do the same thing just by letting that amazing antioxidant just be all over your skin. Now guys, while we're waiting for the facial steamer, did you learn anything tonight and which of these tea is your favorite even if you have not yet tried which of them is like intriguing which of them is like oh my goodness i really need to try that tea comment comment and if you're just joining and you didn't give us a thumbs up go ahead and give us give us a thumbs up show some love if you're going to steam your face and for those of you who are new steaming the face is vital especially when you're trying to roll back the years when you're trying to age in reverse you steam the face now how we you know encourage you to steam the face on this channel we encourage you to steam your face first and after you steam you exfoliate okay you steam first you exfoliate in a case where you're going to be using like the green tea as the steamer you can steam you could exfoliate and you could steam a second time all right steam in the face have to open those pores and it have to to melt the grease and the dirt on your face and when you steam your face and you exfoliate the face is leave your skin cleaner and pave the way for your beauty products to work better on the skin so I'm gonna steam and make sure to cleanse your face before you steam all right so do not you know judge tonight because my face is not really clean but cleanse your face with your regular facial cleanser and then your steam and my steamer is ready and this is how i steam my face so the steamer is going if you're just joining we have butterfly pea flowers in this facial steamer and we also have the hibiscus tea if you use any tea in your steamer when you're done take out the little thing and rinse it out the only time you leave anything water in it is if it's just your water but it's the steam is the tea you're using write it out after you're done and I oh my goodness guys this smells so good Ooh. so this is how I steam mm. and my steam oh, this makes a big difference okay so what is coming on my face right now I am loading up my face with the antioxidant from the hibiscus tea and from the butterfly pea flowers Oh, so when I'm done right now, I'm going to go and exfoliate my skin. So I guess I'm just going to take a shower. But this is how you steam your face. Now, for those of you who tend to steam your face and you want to go in the steamer like that, do not do that. Okay? Now, look what I am doing. This is the steam coming up. And I'm going to put my face right here. It's very comfortable right here. I go a little closer. It's still a little comfortable. And I go a little closer and I could deal with that. I don't think I can go any closer, all right? So that's what you do. When you're starting to steam, the first thing you do, you start from way back here. The steam is hitting me right here, way back there. And then you slowly go towards the steam. Rotate your face and you can also go on the neck. When it gets to the stage where you cannot take the steam any longer on your face, that is where you stop. You do not put it in and burn yourself. Stay away from the excess steam. It's supposed to just go right over your face and you're supposed to be comfortable. You need to only steam the face about three to five minutes. Five minutes is the max. And that is why the steamer have just a little thingy in it because in five minutes, all of that is gonna be all gone 
It's very, very refreshing when you steam the face. If you do not have a steamer, don't worry. I invent, and I, I, I just close my kettle. Other than that, I, as a matter of fact, if I have two minutes, let me see if the kettle is still plugged in. All right, so let it continue, dear. I'm going to show you the kettle trick also. All right, so I gotta, I need the full steam tonight, guys. So I'm going to keep rotating my head. How many of you have a steamer that you use? And how many of you don't have a steamer but still steam with a pot? Don't shy away from the all-time ways of do. Look how healthy my skin is looking right now. That's what I like about steaming. It is so, so, so good. Like, oh, so good. And if you're just joining, we are steaming with butterfly pea flowers. We are also steaming with some hibiscus tea. We mix the two together. And tonight we feature five tea that help to fight wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. We have the butterfly pea. We have the hibiscus. We have the the chamomile tea, we have the green tea, and we also have the black tea. Five amazing tea that you can use on the skin. You can use this tea on your skin to make a facial toner. You can steam your face with it like we're doing here. You can use them to make facial serums. You can use them to make facial moisturizer. We have, I'm gonna bring you the Abyssus tea, facial moisturizer and facial serum. This week I'll make it for you guys. But we already have the butterfly pea flowers on the channel as a facial. <coughs> sorry, steam is going in my throat. As a facial toss. I don't think we did the toner as yet, did we? But we have it as a facial serum and as a facial moisturizer. If you want the recipe, check out my channel page. You will find the recipe right there. And I'm steaming my face with these two. All of these you can steam your face. All of these you can use to wash your face. All of these you can use to exfoliate your face by adding granules. And all of these you can use as to tighten the skin by getting some like oatmeal, some clay mask, and you know, mix them up together. Good to smooth the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. Good to hydrate the skin. Good to give you that nice, healthy looking glow to the skin. And that is the facial steamer using this. This is, could go another two minutes or maybe another minute and that would be finished. Wait, but I want to show you something, guys. Like really, really quick. The show is basically over, but I always tell you all so that you can use the kettle. Now, this is an electric kettle, but you can also use your kettle that you put on the stove top. And I'm going to show you and just take a look at this really, really quick and this one is a little high like yeah this one is a little high so we're putting it on if you do not have a facial steamer look what is happening here <laughs> and I tell you guys that I hardly use my facial steamer you guys think I'm joking right look at this burst of steam coming out of this kettle it's the same okay and because this one is high I gotta stand up and Ooh, and it's stronger and it's more and more and more and more. Ooh, and guess what? You can also choose to just drop the tea bag in it. So you just as how I'm doing this, that is how you can use the electric kettle to steam the face. I personally like to use the kettle because it go it cover a wider area, all right? And just as I mentioned with the facial steamer, you know what you can tolerate. Do not go too close. If you start to get uncomfortable, you're too close. So step back and steam the face. And if you have one that you have to put on your stove, especially those whistling ones that let out all that steam through that hole, it's the same thing. You stand up in front of the stove, you let that steam hit your face and you do your thing. So that's how you steam the face. And if you don't have no form of a kettle and it's a pot you have, then you use a towel method where you throw that towel over and let that steam just bounce bounce on the face when you're done you go ahead and you exfoliate that skin oh my goodness your skin is gonna feel refreshing like it's gonna just just really good so try to practice especially if you're getting on in age and you want to look younger and fresher you want to reverse in aging you steam you exfoliate and then you use your facial products like your facial toner any of these can make your toner your facial serum you make your facial serum and your facial moisturizer or oil. So that's my show tonight, guys. I'm so glad you're here. If you like the show, 
tonight if you want me to do more of these kind of a show with different ingredients then go ahead and also comment if you enjoy the show you share it give the show a thumbs up and for those of you who just joined the five tea that we feature tonight is the hibiscus tea very very refreshing the butterfly pea flowers sweetish the chamomile oh so good and we also feature the green tea uh -huh. <laughs> and then we also feature the black tea i want to sleep tonight so i'm not gonna drink any more of these tea so um one person want to know about vix in a in a facial steamer now you know vix is how to clear the nostril and all of that good stuff the thing about the VIX, if you have a facial steamer, it could clog it. The facial steamer, they advise you to use absolutely nothing in it but water. And that is why we use the tea. I suggest that you still wash it as soon as you're done. However, you can drop that VIX in some hot water and let that steam it your face. But I'm scared and I don't want you to lose your facial steamer. So I still think that no form of oil should be used, not even essential oils in the facial steamer we can get away with using all of these because these are liquid okay so definitely just shy away from that if you have to use a open pot or something let's take some question and then we are gonna close out awesome show very very much enjoy thank you for married instead of big put eucalyptus leave in there thank you for that and that is perfect thanks so much that is from lila um with my remote that is from um lynn and we have angela first time here very informative thank you for joining shireen dunn love you right back maya chichi what effect do you get do you think place in your face in ice cold water instead of ice water oh that's a good one let me pull it maya this is let me see if i could pull you up and what chichi what effect do you think place in your face in ice cold water iced tea instead of ice water what would um that have on the skin now the difference is for the tea to work on your skin you need to leave it a little bit longer on the skin okay it needs to be on the skin a little longer for it to absorb in the skin and when we dunk in the ice water we just dunk right away like right away but it would be pretty amazing to use the tea water instead of the ice water i still think you could reap some benefit from that because the antioxidant is still very much active in the tea and when it's cold it's not going to sleep because whenever we make these as a facial um when we make these as facial toner we normally place them in the refrigerator so now you're giving us ideas for our next ice water challenge we are gonna freeze some tea. And Claudia is not here tonight because she's good at reminding me what I'm saying. Margaret is also good at reminding me. We could freeze some tea cubes and dunk our face in that, which would make it more interesting. As a matter of fact, before I throw these out, I am gonna you know, just freeze them and make some ice cube. But to answer the question, I think that it would be amazing. It's just as I said, you know for anything to work on the skin you need it to be on the skin for you know a, a couple minutes or so so dunk in the face is a one two three and we're out but we still should at least have some benefit from doing that and also not even if you don't have you know much of a benefit from it then you still feel good about it you know what i mean you just feel like you're doing something but the ice cube make it into with the tea water and rubbing it on your face is good because then when you rub it you could let it sit on your face for a few minutes but that's very good very very good question titi you are so right key chichi is very smart i have a composition book i started using years ago with her okay thank you so much for that can you remember composition book maxi chichi the chamomile tea is in our spanish needle here in jamaica the same the same the goat love yes yes that's what it is that's what it is believe it or not pick it and use it go in the bushes and grab it and pick it i normally tell people that they're like listen we have this growing wine in jamaica right yes that's what it is and just like the shoe bag 
So guys, we, we have it. Just take a stroll in the bush if you live in the country and pick your stuff and use. And um, is sea salt good for your face? Mm, let me tell you, sea salt is good for the body. The reason why people don't use much salt on the face is because it dries the skin out, okay? You, the body, the skin, you know, down here is rougher, it could tolerate it, but salt on the face tend to dry the skin out. But you still can use it and rest it off really, really quick. If you have oily skin, you can use salt on your face. Most time, no salt also because of your eyes. They don't want that salt to burn you in your eyes. So if you're going to use salt on your face, make sure it's way over yonder over here. You don't want to get the salt in your eyes. That's why it's more focused on the body. But yes, it can use to exfoliate your face. All right. So um, who else have a question for us? I do ice water. Love it. That's Lynn. And we have a child, Esther. What do you think of the switch misty, um, switch, switch misty, for steaming. I actually don't know what that is. Swish, swish, as in Switzerland. Uh, I'm going to write that down and I'm going to look for it. But for steaming the face, any tea leaves that you can drink can use to steam the face. Bless us both. Chichi, I always wonder about the rest of your skin, not just your face. I try to do old body scrub, etc. once every two weeks. What do you do for the rest of you? Is it as resilient as your face? Now, years ago, if you check out like my old videos, I used to do a lot of body. Sometimes I even come with halfway up here showing you how to do the body. But for the YouTube guideline, they do not really like when we do videos anymore featuring body parts or body. So that is why I don't make those videos anymore. But everything that I do to my face, I do to my body. I expose, I'm, I love to exfoliate, okay? I'm no joke, okay? No joke. And even way before I start YouTube, I used to buy this and I talk about this all the time. This is an Ives scrub. You can use it on your face. It's made out of almond and all of that. Use it on your face and you can use it on your body. I exfoliate my body and I do that at least twice per week. On the weekend, I give myself a really good bath, I really scrub my skin. I know maybe that is coming from when I was growing up every Sunday, my grandmother used to give us a bath, right? Like scrubbing our neck. So it's still in me that I try to exfoliate my entire body. We have some amazing ex body exfoliator on the channel. It's just that when I make these videos these days, you don't see me coming with a towel anymore and showing you how, you know, to I used to do those. So if you want some of those, go and seek out some of my old videos like three years ago and you'll find them but as i said the way i take care of my face is the way i take care of the rest of my body i cleanse my skin every day twice a day sometimes three times a day if i'm home because i'm a little ocd like that if i too much information i was just gonna say something but anyway yes and i exfoliate my entire body at least two times per week i'm your girl use a face a, a body rock okay a wash rock I use a wash rack on my skin. The first thing I do when I get in that shower, I wash my body with a bar soap on my wash rack. I have a ritual that I do in the shower, whether morning, night, or noon. Any little secret with you guys. That is where I feel the most relaxed, okay? That is where I feel the most relaxed. That's where I feel happy. That's where I feel comfortable. And that is where I get all my ideas from. When I go in the shower, I like to think. I like to, you know, be into myself. And I like to use a lot of nice things. And it relaxes me. And that's why I have a ritual. But what keeps my skin clean is the wash rub. I soak my whole body with that wash rub, rub my skin, my neck, everything, everything, rinse off. That's number one. That's the first thing I do. The second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on my face, whether I'm cleansing my face or, you know, you know, you know. And then I have some other things that I use at different areas on the body, special things at different areas. And that's ritual number two. And the third thing that I do, I use a shower gel. Yes, I use a bar soap and a shower gel. And I know some people want to use a bar soap and some people want to use a shower gel. I use both and I cannot do without both. Call me crazy, but my shower gel is for rinsing, okay? And it's the truth. I use a shower gel to rinse, and that's when I, you know, pour that shower gel on that low bar, that body sponge, and then I rinse my skin with it, foam up, sat up, rinse off, and then I just rinse and step out. So that's what I do. 
You don't have to do the same, but that's what I do. But if you want your body to look good, like clean skin, get yourself a wash rod. Get rid of using just your hand to wash your skin. Use a wash rod because you're getting that exfoliating from the wash rod every day. And one to two times per week, then you pull out that body scrub, a good coffee scrub or a good salt scrub, and you exfoliate your body. All right, guys, that's my time tonight. It's Vlogmas. Tomorrow we're coming with some more ideas for you. Thank you all for watching. Share this video, guys, so that we could get more people to come on over for our Vlogmas. We're here every night at 7 p.m. until December 24th. And we also post a video on our channel page every day. Support our channel by watching the video, sharing the videos, and giving us a thumbs up. Your feedback are always important. We also have a... Facebook page that you can you know go and follow us on we have Instagram page go follow us on Instagram we also have a beauty club that you know you can go and follow us on and we're gonna so much get back into the beauty club um, coming next year we also have a zoom get together that we do once a week every Friday night at 7 p.m. for you to be a part of the zoom however you will have to send for the link and you can send for the link at chichibeauty at gmail.com we send the link every friday out to you and the show is friday at seven very very nice nothing to do with skincare okay so come prepare if you want to you know know what goes on over there and you can also share the link with a friend only people with link is allowed in the zoom Watch our videos, share them, comment. That's how you support your favorite channel. And that's so that's what allow me to be able to buy all these amazing tea to share with you. Love you all and come back tomorrow night. And if you have any idea that you want to share with us to make a good show for the rest of our vlogmas, send those information. And thank you all for somebody sending some amazing topics for both the Zoom and also for the live show. Be good to yourself and I'll see you soon. Let's go back over hibiscus tea, butterfly pea flowers, um, chamomile, green tea, and black tea. Have a good night, guys, and I'll see you soon. Thank you all for watching. Don't leave without giving the video a thumbs up. Before you log off, this is one thing you do. You thumbs the video up and right away you share it on your Facebook page. Okay, that's all we ask you to do tonight. Thumbs it up before you leave and share it on your Facebook page.